compendium of Jersey phenomena, entry number 13. Yep, unlucky number 13. Who knew that I, Elliot Rifkin, would accidentally give up the secret of the Jersey? It all started so innocently, with a simple game of baseball. Ow! Okay, maybe baseball in the house should have been a clue that something was about to go seriously wrong. You need to be put away. Far away. I need to be in the show. I could so be a pro player. Too bad you're not on the baseball team, Nick. You could play at the clinic with Nomar Garcia Parra this week. Oh, that would be so awesome. Imagine what that feels like. Slamming the ball out of the stadium into the parking lot. Easy, Nick. Come back to us. Mom, uh, it's a bat. The game? Uh, I'm the Hurry. Hi, Mom. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Would you put these bags in the kitchen for me, please? Uh, I... Hi, guys. Why so quiet? It's our meditation time, Mrs. Leiter. To center ourselves. Morgan, time to pack up. Your mom's waiting outside. Great. I'll see you on cake. Bye, guy. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Are you okay? Oh, my ankle. Man, this can't be good. The doctor said it's just a sprain, but it's really sorry to hurt again. My mom's coming to pick me up. You know, Carol Brady always said, don't play ball now. Too bad you're going to be missing no more tomorrow. Maybe I'll get him to autograph a ball for you. You know, after I send him a few grounders to field. <laughs> Nick, you're not going to jump. No, I want to meet him, really. I hear he's a pretty cool guy. Only the baseball team is allowed anywhere near him. He's right, Nick. We're going to have to be satisfied with watching from afar. Don't care. I still have to try. Whatever. Call me later and let me know how it goes. Yeah, that's right, Morgan. Hobble away while it's still safe. Now keep your eye on the ball and the slaw's latest hobby, match. Ow! What's with you guys? It weren't great last night. That ball hurt, but the real pain was yet to come. The zine. Hillary and Willis, voice of a new generation. The zine is about truth, and the truth should be heard all over the world, not shackled up in this meager high school. I agree. My column on David Mancino's 16th birthday party should be read by kids all over the country. You're missing my point. Let's make the zine about something. About the injustices to the youth movement. To the youth movement? Yes. We're smarter, better informed, we're more focused on the future than our predecessors. It's time for a change. A new direction. We've only done six issues. Starting it was a new direction. The media is the key to the masses. We get into their living rooms, we get into their brains. Close your eyes and see this with me. Now TV. I'll hold for applause. Now TV. That is phenomenal. I love it. I totally, completely love it. It gets better. Do you have any idea what's going on tomorrow? Nomar Garcia Para is coming to our school. So? I'm not in the Spanish club. Not that I don't love Nomar. It's just that his coming to our school was going to bring the type of publicity that the Jersey could do without. We'll do an expose. Sports, youth, power. The numbing of minds and misplaced, misguided priorities. Next on Nail TV. Can I be on camera? You know, like a, a VJ? Yeah. We'll be the voice of a generation. I gotta get new clothes. <laughs> Here's where things started to get complicated. When Mr. Leiter tried to plan the perfect anniversary surprise for next month. I know, I know. None of these things seem like they have anything to do with each other. But believe me, they will. Listen, uh, I really would love for you to... Who's that? Uh, uh, no one. It, it was a wrong number. <laughs> you never could lie. The phone didn't ring. <laughs> hey, Dad. Uh, uh, hey, Nikki, uh, you're just the guy I want to see. Hey, <laughs> Dad, listen, would you ever consider donating free shoes to the baseball team? See, I'm trying to... For, forget about it. Listen, uh, I need you to do me a favor. It's your mother's and my anniversary tomorrow, and I am planning the perfect evening, so I need your help. Ah, uh, Dad, that's really cute. I'm in. What can I do? Look. Now keep your eye on the ring, because it's the key to this whole messed up story. Take this ring to Jackson's jewelry store. They'll size it to fit your mother's finger. The 
This is Grandma's ring. Mm -hmm. Mom always loved this. I thought it was lost. So did I. But it turned up in your Grandpa's trunk. You know, it was so weird. I thought I went through that thing from top to bottom. And then one day, there it was. But anyway, I have been waiting for our anniversary to give it to her. Oh, she's gonna love it. She will. Look, the jeweler's expecting it. It is all set up. Go there right after school. Be home no later than five. You got it? After school? No, 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 no. no. The, the baseball exhibition. Can Hillary do it? I'm already getting the cake. And then I'll be the voice of a generation. Ooh. Hello? Promising. Yes. Um, I'll be seeing that baseball guy you're so crazy about. Jerry Garcia. No more Garcia Parra? Whatever. Anyway, it'll be me. Evan, not you. <laughs> it sounded so simple. Pick up the ring, take it to the jewelers, and Mr. Lighter's got the perfect anniversary. But while Nick is a great son and a wonderful friend, he is no match for the powers of the Jersey. Okay, how's this sound? The clinic starts at 3.30, the jewelers open until 5. I check out Nomar for a half hour tops. 4 o'clock, I ride over to the jeweler, home by 5, and I'm done. You're living on the edge, my friend. I wouldn't risk it. This is your dad's anniversary present to your mom. Oh, and like you wouldn't do it? Of course I do. But I'm used to living on the edge. Let's go. We can't play with them. But let's get close enough to see them. The jersey. What's it doing here? Intriguing. And you didn't bring it? Spooky. It's worth noting. You know. Yes. You are a genius. I'll be no more while you go to the jewelry store. Sorry, family only, remember? Blow off your dad? To be one of the greatest ball players of all time? Can't pass that up. If Nick had to make it to the jewelry store and be home by five, he didn't have much time for games. Even baseball. Speaking of which, there's the man himself, Nomar Garcia Parra, one of the greatest shortstops in the league, at our school, coaching our baseball team. Yep, Nomar, a man I was never able to really meet. Thanks to... Okay, that wasn't funny. Lucky for me, I've got eyes in the back of my head. Unfortunately for Nick, he can't even see what's right in front of him. Well, let's get some guys outfield. Hit some fungos. Who wants to play? All right, let's open this up. Uh, how about those guys? Is he pointing at us? Let's go talk about hitting. This is the greatest moment of my life. Ah, flaw. I couldn't break the news to him that he was meeting his best friend, not his baseball here. But hey, ignorance is bliss. No more Garcia Park. How you doing? Hi, I'm Coleman. You are so great. I can't believe you picked me. Oh, I could believe it. True to form, Nick was having fun. While his dad was doing all the work. I mean, maybe Mr. Leiter was overdoing it. But hey, it was the guy's anniversary. Um. No, not there. Um, oh, not in there either, huh? Well, maybe they're upstairs. Okay, okay, I'm going. It's, uh, it's 4 o'clock. Uh, do you know where Nick is? Don't know. Love you. Boy, that was close. <laughs> Daddy! What did you do to the cake? Nick was giving some pretty good pointers, but seconds were turning to minutes, and minutes were turning to lots of minutes. Always chest. You got the hand up, and you're ready to throw the ball. I got you. Play ball! playing some ball, the real action on the field was just about to begin. Where have you been? Why'd your hair wet? My family is totally nuts. Must are. So, get it together. You're about to step over a line into a world where your very being gets transmitted to millions, possibly billions of viewers. It's public access. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And, and I prepped some great questions. 
I bet. Start with these. Oh, man, that was amazing. Thanks, Sloth. He wasn't bad, huh, Elliot? Nick? Nick, you jumped? I tried to stop him. Thank you, Grandpa. I love this jersey. You are such a jerk. Nick, you're supposed to be at the jewelry store for your dad, remember? What time is it? 4.15. Only 15 minutes behind schedule, not bad. Five more minutes. I can't pass this up. It's Hillary. Huh? Oh, no. Hi, sweetie. No more. Hillary Leiter here, Snail TV. We'd love to ask you a few questions. Uh, give us the secret to how you reach this level of extraordinary success. I get asked that question everywhere. It's so... It's so boring. Don't you have any others? Sure. I've got more. Um, do you think government is Omar? I understand your name is your dad's name backwards. Is he the source of your power? I know your dad's been very important. My dad... I excuse me, I, I can't talk. Figures. Of all people to remind Nick of his responsibilities, it would be Hillary. The jersey's not coming off. What do you mean? It's... I think I'm stuck here. And it figures. Of all people to catch Nick in the act, it would have to be Willow. It was at this point that things went from bad to really bad. Slaw, so you've got to help me. I can't go to the jewelers as Nomar Garcia Parra. Nick, you are so lame. I know. You're completely irresponsible. Agreed. But you're going to do it, right? All right. But I'm doing it for your mom. I like her. Now, where's the ring? Uh, in my locker. Uh, be right back. Try some, uh, Fielding or some Jumping Jacks. Get these guys going. All right. Nick, you fooled around so long, there's no way I'm gonna make it to the jeweler in time. Okay, here's the plan. So I'll go to the jeweler. Right, I'm going. And Elliot can help me figure out how to get back. Uh, Nick! The ring! Oh. Oh, great. He's gone. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. Something is digging into me. His hands are tight. Nick, the jersey, it's working. Nobody was thinking straight that day. Coleman forgot the ring and Nick forgot the rules of the jersey. Namely that it plays by its own rules. Oh, great, now you catch Coleman. Let's go. What are you talking about? It was great. No more was totally focused. He really respected me. Tape doesn't lie, Hillary, okay? Watch and see for yourself. It's horrible. Oh, you gotta help me. I can't go to the jewelry stores no more, Garcia Parra. You didn't rewind it. Nick, you are so lame. Nick? Oh, wait up! Oh. You forgot the ring. Oh, man, you made me so nervous. I don't like living on the edge. Come on, man, you only got 15 minutes to get this done. I, I, the ring, I, it's gone. You lost the ring? I, I don't know, I put it in my pockets and... Uh-oh. We have to go back to school. Why? Because the ring's in Nomar's pocket. Thank you, Grandpa. I love this jersey. Jersey? My grandfather's jersey? You know what he's talking about? I don't, but I know who would. How are you going to get it back in time to get to the jewelry store? How about this? Excuse me, Nomar, this is kind of embarrassing, but when I was you a few minutes ago, I left this ring. You know, you're not helping. Fine. I have used the little shortstop for him anyway. Ah, illusion. It looks like mm. a stick of gum but it's actually the magical key to getting the ring back. You see, what happened next may seem a little careless on my part, but I was under a lot of pressure. So was my bladder. I really had to go. Whatever it is, I swear it wasn't me. Please don't hurt me. I break easily. I need information, Elliot. Information? Okay. I know a little about a lot of things. Or I know a lot about a couple of things. 
charming. Tell me everything you know about Nick, Nomar Garcia Para, and my grandfather's jersey. I know nothing about that. How about another subject? Like, um, Tibetan art? <laughs> Don't even think about it. Okay, y'all. You know, your grandpa left you a lot of cool stuff. Because he's dead, right? Go on. Do I know you? Uh, kind of. <sighs> I've been training too hard. Excuse me. Uh, um, what my friend is trying to say is, thank you for coming. And as a show of our appreciation, I wanted to perform a little magic for you. Hey, things get weird. Go with it. See what you got. In my hand, I hold an ordinary gum wrapper. I formed it into a shape of a ring. Now watch as I turn this token of love and affection into an actual ring of silver. All part of the wonderful world of prestidigitation and the great Laudini. <laughs> we said the magic words, Bumalaka, voila. Um, no more, can you please check your pocket? Wow, you're pretty good. Yeah, he, he is amazing, isn't he? Gotta go. Oh, uh, he's chronically rude. I'm Coleman. Call me Sloth. Nice to meet you, Sloth. Nick had the ring, but I was still in big trouble. That's it. That's all I know. You're such a liar. That ratty t-shirt takes you and your freaky friends into the bodies of superstars? Uh-huh. <laughs> Time-space continuum? And right now, Nick is no more Garcia Para, all because of his grandpa's jersey. Yes! Yes! We've been over this a hundred times. Can I leave? We need proof. Because we're kids, we'll be accused of editing the tape. Hmm. Okay, so I was weak. Those girls are tough. And I told you, I really had to go to the bathroom. You would have done the same thing. Elliot? What's going on? We have a serious problem. I kind of, just kind of, told Hillary and Willa. You, you know the big secret about the jersey jumping us in the bodies of athletes? It's not a secret anymore. What? But it feels great to get it off your chest. You should try it. <laughs> Give it up, Nick. I know about the jersey. Excuse me? Do you want an autograph? How does this thing work? How? Uh, young lady, that's my shirt. Nick? Or is that Coleman in there? Uh, security? Coach? Little help over here? Hillary? Is you okay? Nick's going home. Elliot! Uh, you can always count on Hillary to embarrass herself. Talk about a close one, though. The face must have been smiling on me. Nick, on the other hand. Well, if it wasn't for bad luck, he wouldn't have any luck at all. Where have you been? Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't make it to the jewelers. What? Oh, Nick. I got kind of caught up in what I was doing, and I... I blew it. Oh, no, no. This can't be happening. Everything was going to be perfect. Now what am I going to do? The cake is ruined. I don't have a gift. I'm sorry. Are you going to tell me where we're going now? Did I interrupt something? No, no, no. Honey. Mom, this is from Dad. I was supposed to get it fixed, but I kind of just dropped the ball. You're giving me your mother's ring and this chain? It was, it's perfect. Nick bought the chain. How beautiful. Thanks. Thanks. My guy. <laughs> this is so sweet. Let's go. Be nice to your sister. That went well. Maybe being somewhat irresponsible works for guys like us. You know, I should have something to say to you. But I don't know what it is right now. Mm -hmm. See ya! Somehow things always work out for Nick in the end. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> oh, poor Hillary. <laughs> Are you kidding? It was great. How does this jersey work? 
You know what? I don't even care that I told her. So what to say now? Next! I'm blaming you. They all looked at me like I was crazy. And then a cop came. And uh, let's just say I'm not allowed near the athletic field for a while. Come on, Hill. You fell for the magic jersey? Elliot, that was definitely your best story. Yeah. It was all in the performance. I'd love a jersey like that. I'd be gone all the time. You're all just so... I'm so... Close call. We made it. Otherwise, we would have had some serious trouble on our hands. Yep, the four of us stuck together. We told the truth. And nobody believed it. It was perfect. Word has already spread across most of the school. A freshman actually snubbed me today. Well, I talked to the cable access station. They're not interested in our tape. Nothing. The secret of the jersey Nothing. was safe again. Signed, Elliot Rifkin. I suffered irreversible humiliation for nothing? Maybe not for nothing. What do you mean? Never mind. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Hill. Thank you, Grandpa. I love this jersey. Coming up next, he's green, he's 13, and he's out of this world. Save some space for Lloyd in Space, here on Disney Channel.